Hello everyone, and welcome to the Star Wars Fan Service Review. That, that's not what it's called? Oh, gotcha. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Mandalorian Season 3 Review. What do you mean that hasn't come out yet? Are you sure? He's barely in the show. And when he is, Mulan's always speaking for him. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Book of Boba Fett review. Great, I said the line, now pay up. What do you mean I'm not getting paid? You son of a bitch! <laughs> the Book of Boba Fett is the newest addition to the Disney Plus original series. Initially teased at the end of Season 2 of Mandalorian, we all thought this would be a show that shows Boba Fett being a ruthless crime lord after taking over Jabba's palace, and that's what we got for approximately two minutes involving a scene where he actually acts like Boba Fett. Now I want to make it clear that I've never been a huge Star Wars fan. I've liked it fine, and the Clone Wars and the other Clone Wars made by Jendi Tarkovsky are both great, but everything else has ranged from really good to dog water. I'm also going to be completely honest from a casual fan's perspective. Now please don't torture me on this, Star Wars fans. But Boba Fett was never really that cool, at least in the original trilogy. <laughs> Come on guys, let's be honest, what did he do in the OG trilogy that was so cool? Stand there menacingly? Ooh, scary. However, his role in Mandalorian did show that he is capable of being a badass, and I was expecting him to give him a whole show about such, but instead we got what Marvel has turned into. Hey kids, look who's in this movie, that character from another movie. That's what you wanted to see, right? Um, why are they there? I'd rather have good writing and good likable- <laughs> Shut up if you ever want to see your family again. Uh -huh. This show might as well be called the fan service Star Wars show. And while I do love some of it, I still can't help but feel mm, manipulated because of the characters in here. I think the biggest offenders are the two Mandalorian episodes that hijack the series. Seriously, we didn't need these in here, or at least they didn't have to be this long, especially the main Mandalorian episode. A solid five to 10 minutes could have been shaved off of that episode. The unfortunate part is, is that fan service can enhance the plot and characters, for example, in No Way Home. But unfortunately, we got like a good chunk of the fan service that we saw in Endgame, where it's just there to be fan service. Or another example could have been in The Rise of Skywalker, as Disney desperately tries to reclaim the fans back. In addition to the loads of fan service, some of the decisions they made regarding some characters, aka the Vespa gang, are so stupid. Why are these shiny colorful speeders on Tatooine? They don't belong on this dirty rundown sand world, especially since they're considered poor, yet have the cleanest rides on the whole planet. Also, that car chase involving them is easily the worst car chase I have ever seen in film or TV. Fennec, while cool, is just there to pretty much be the mouthpiece of Boba when Boba, last I checked, can speak fine. Also, the whole riding the Rancor thing really should have been built up more. As it's mentioned once, then in the finale, he's riding it like he's been practicing all this time which, as far as we know, hasn't been the case. Even Danny Trejo says that it would be extremely difficult to do, yet Boba Fett has no issue until he gets blown off after Cad Bane torches the Rancor's face. Okay, is there anything in, I liked in the show? Yes, quite a bit. Even though I complained about the excessive amounts of fan service, I still stand by that it is neat to see some of these characters we haven't seen in a while, like Cad Bane. The acting, for the most part, is pretty good, Special effects and costume designs are also once again good. The finale, while a bit predictable and feels like a King Kong movie by the end of it, is a lot of mindless, dumb Star Wars action with some fun set pieces, and there's some smaller details that I noticed that I appreciated. Overall, this show is perfectly serviceable as is, but as far as I know, this show has been fairly disappointing to Star Wars fans, especially since the most ruthless bounty hunter in the galaxy, from my understanding at least, feels like a diet version of The Mandalorian which works for the Mandalorian, but not so much for Boba Fett. And I don't think they do the best job of showing that, but it's okay. I get that they were trying to show what he was doing prior to the Mandalorian appearance, but I don't think we needed to see as many episodes of it as we did. What more can I say other than that Boba Fett is basically just a more entertaining version of Hawkeye in the sense that the titular character is not the main focus of his own show. So take that as you will. Have a good day, everyone, and go ahead and spank that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay safe out there.